you know, the, the title of the program is To Unweave a Rainbow, right? So it comes from Keats' poem, this notion that science somehow pulls things apart and destroys the beauty and the wonder of it all. And, you know, Richard Feynman had a perspective, you know, great physicist, had a perspective on this. Just want to get your sense of it. Can you show the, the Richard Feynman flower clip? I have a friend who's an artist and has sometimes taken a view which I don't agree with very well. You hold up a flower and say, look how beautiful it is. And he says, you see, as I as an artist can see how beautiful this is, but you as a scientist, oh, take this all apart and it becomes dull thin. And I think that he's kind of nutty. First of all, although I may not be quite as refined and aesthetically as he is, then I can appreciate the beauty of the flower. At the same time, I see much more about the flower than he sees. I mean, it's not just beauty at this dimension, there's also beauty at a smaller dimension. I could imagine the cells in there, also the processes, the complicated actions inside, which also have a beauty. The fact that the colors and the flower evolved in order to attract insects to pollinate it is interesting. It means that insects can see the color. It adds a question. Why is it aesthetic? All kinds of interesting questions, which the science only adds to the excitement, the mystery, and the awe of a flower. It only adds. I don't understand how it subtracts. It's brilliant. Thoughts? Well, I, I look. Um, obviously, well, in the first place, there's no question that science itself and its discoveries have been one of the greatest revealers of beauty that man has ever experienced or devised. Um, and that's why there are many scientific results having to do both with science in the small and the cell and then in the, in the galaxy before which one feels not just a feeling of being present, being present before beauty, but even before the sublime, yes. which is another form of aesthetic experience. What I would say about, what, about Feynman is that the whole thing begs the question, which is to say that the, the point is not that Scientists, the good news is that science is powerless to destroy beauty even if it thinks it can. That's the good news. So all these physicalists running around thinking they've, they're murdering to dissect, they're wrong. They're dissecting, but they're not murdering except for themselves. Except for themselves. And a pity on them. But, um, but Feynman begs the question in the sense that when he says you can experience the beauty not just at the flower but also at the cellular level, yeah. I would say, all right, but there still remains the question of what that experience of beauty is yes. at any level, yes. at any level. So, yeah. um, and the idea that the experience of beauty can be explained scientifically at any level of scientific revelation um, seems, seems imperialistic to me, seems yeah. incorrect to me.